Okay, hi everybody. This is Val Plissick from Rewind. This is our uh, wood board project for March of 2021, but we're gonna record this session so that everyone that can't be with us this day would have an opportunity to do this project. This project is one of those projects that will last beyond the time that we spend together. So I am going to try to review the basic things that you can use on your board. And then it's really up to you to make it more personal. So the first thing is I sent you a list of a whole bunch of different kinds of plaques and boards. Everything from life is better when you're laughing to welcome to my porch. Um, there are many, many ideas out there and it's really your personal taste and what you want to project. Not only for the board, but also if you wanna give this as a gift to someone. Um, earlier today, one of the ladies came up with the idea that she's going to put it out by her pool that says, welcome and relax. Another person said, welcome to my garden. So there's all kinds of combinations that you can. In your packet, you received um, some stencils. First, you got letter stencils. And secondary, you got some animals and design stencils. If you've never stenciled before in a moment, I'm going to show you how to do that basic stuff. But let's talk about these letters first. They are small, and that unfortunately is the best I could do working with the budget that we had. But I want you to understand that you can take these small letters and make them large. What I would recommend you to do is get a plain piece of paper that is about the size of your board. Now each, um, the boards that I have here are different size, but this is your board that I sent you. It has a horizontal hang, but you could also turn it this way and put a ribbon or a, a bracket on the back and hang it this way as well. So you want to find a piece of paper that covers the main area of your plaque. And that's going to be like your roadmap to this board. On that, you want to make a straight line and you want to be able to lay out the letters. So you want to get a ruler and measure how much you're going to go across and plot out your letters. The easiest way to enlarge letters is to simply take a letter from your stencil, draw it out, and then take your ruler and just enlarge it by going parallel to that line. So you can see I did a small W and then I made it a large W. And on a board, the large W might be the thing that you want to have stand out right here. But in this case, because I was doing a diagonal and I wanted to add other things, I kept it all the same size. That is personal taste only. The other thing, one of the other ladies suggested today, and I think it's a great idea, this is kind of a boring brown background. Now, if you're going to put it outside, it may not really matter, but if you're going to put it in a kitchen or a living room or a bedroom, you might want to change the background. This board is not treated in any specific way, so it is very porous. You can take your paint that we sent to you in these little tubs, or in the containers, even the glass paint will work on this because it's an acrylic. And you can add water to it and you can either whitewash it using white paint or a color that gives you a nicer background. Um, the other thing that I did on these letters, and you'll see a kind of a combination, is I outlined them with the Sharpie marker that I sent with the kit. Please make sure if you use a Sharpie marker or fabric paint markers that you wait until the initial paint is totally dry because you don't want to wreck the tip of your markers. After I painted the letters white, I then went over them, and I'm, I haven't finished as you can see, I went over them with blue for each one of the letters, which really makes it stand out a whole lot better. <coughs> All right, so that's enough about letters and signs. The next step is stenciling. And if you have not stenciled before, no worries. This is a new opportunity to try. So I took um, a 
design pattern and a simple dog pattern. And I've done two things. I've taped down the corners on the regular stencil. And on this dog pattern, which is the punch out of this, I put tape in the background. What you're gonna do now is pick a color, whatever color works for your, for your board. And in this case, I'm gonna do some bright green. And I'm going to add, let's see, I think I'm going to add some orange to it. I forgot my background is green, so I think we'll do, we'll do orange. And the key to um, working in a stencil is you get a plastic plate or something where you can wash it up and you put your paint and you do an up and down motion. That gives you a true stencil look. So I'm gonna start first with the bottom, which is the, a dog pattern. And I'm gonna go up and down, up and down. And I'm just gonna fill in that whole stencil, just like that. Now I'm gonna go over to the one that's reversed and I'm gonna do the same thing. But this time I'm just gonna do the outside edge of the dog. And you will see the difference. It's kind of fun. You could do a couple different colors if you want, whatever you want. And obviously you need to have a glass or a container of water somewhere handy. So the first one I'm gonna pull off is the traditional stencil. And I use masking tape because, or paint tape because it comes off very quickly. And there's our dog right there at the bottom. Just set your stencil to the side so it doesn't get paint everywhere. And then the next one is the reverse stencil. And I had put a bubble of tape underneath him so you couldn't see it. And that's the second image that I have. So both are kind of fun to play with. You might even overlap too, which is always kind of neat with different colors. Here's my seahorse that I did earlier. And here's my kitty cat. I did him in two colors. I did his tail in green and his body in orange. Those are my two main colors. So stenciling is for fun. You can put patterns of stencils up and down the side. You can do them just in corners. The other thing that is in your kit are Velcro. And some of the Velcro is sticky back and some of it's just plain. If you have the sticky back, obviously you just peel off the back and stick it. And in this case, I did three, three stickies. The first one I did up here is the sunshine. And all I did was accent the rays of sun and use one of my um, fabric markers, no big deal. The other one I did took a little more time and I painted it green. It's one of my cactus. And what I did there is you notice he's hanging over the side. That kind of gives you a little more three dimension. And then my third one is a different cactus. Now, each one of you got three different things, either um, cactuses, sunshines, patriotic, leprechauns. I'll show you some of the other ones. The other thing that you are able to get from your director, if any of you um, would like breast care, Alzheimer's awareness ribbons, I have the plain ribbon and you can color it any color you want and add it onto your sign. Oh, the other thing I should say before I forget, so I painted my cactus and he was totally dry. And then I started with a black marker to add my spikes on the cactus, which I haven't finished, obviously. The other thing that's really fun with these boards is you can keep it very, very simple. One of my favorite things in the world are doilies that are handmade. And so this is a very simple design, but it looks really nice on this black board or this um, brown board. And of course you could add things to it. I did a little leprechaun hat. Some of you have, um, oops, wrong one. Um, some of you have 
uh, rick rack in your kit. Some of you have ribbons, some of you have lace. You can see that we added um, a border on the bottom of this as well, which goes really well with the doily. And then I used rick rack to accent the little leprechaun hat and a piece of felt. The other thing you might have at home left over from Valentine's Day or some other are foam cutouts or paper cutouts or scrapbooking paper. And you can lay that underneath like a doily or a piece of lace and it still comes through. Or you could do something like on top of the doily. And in this case, it's just a simple red heart that was cut out from a scrap of fabric that I have. The other thing that's nice about this, anything you Velcro on can be taken off and changed out for seasons. So maybe in, in celebration of Easter, you might do like a fun tool purple ribbon. You might add a bunny rabbit. And in this case, this bunny rabbit's kind of brown and earthy on one side. And then on the other side, he's kind of plain and white and looking for a cottontail. The other possibility would be something like an Easter egg that you can put on the board, two different sets of colors. And someone in an earlier group also thought it looked like a football. So you surely could make this a sports thing if you wanted to as well. Remember that if you're using your um, tacky glue, or either putting on a project or Velcro or anything you're adhering, it will dry clear. Just make sure you keep your top on your, your container with your, um, with your tacky, or in this case, put the lid on your um, tacky as well, because this will dry out and form a film on the top. Now you can skim that off and use it, but we don't wanna waste any tacky glue if we don't have to. Um, let's see. Another thing that I think is really fun to do is using buttons. Um, someone also suggested using um, seashells, buttons. I mean, I've even used computer pieces, like I've cut apart an old CD and used it as like a mirror. Um, you can do anything with tacky glue and it will adhere and it will dry clear. The other thing you can do, as we talked about, is you can either whitewash or you can paint your wood. In this case, this wood was plain, but somebody spilled something on it. So the ideal scenario would be to take something that is darker than the stain and try to hide it in some way. And you could maybe make this into a critter or do a stencil or something there as well. The other thing that's really kind of fun to do is to take things like pom-poms. Um, this week we did a leprechaun pot with one of our things and we did pennies falling out of a leprechaun pot. So, or a rainbow pot, I should say. And so anything you have around the house that you think would embellish your plaque, this is the time to do it. Um, all of those wood pieces are very easily found in craft stores as well. This is a, another thing that you can do very simply with um, letters or things like these wood plaques is you can take pieces of grapevine wreaths or just plain old sticks. I use sticks a lot in my shop and you can just take wire and hang them down from this. This is just a simple commercially made thing but I think it's a good example of how something so simple can be so cute. And it, obviously they've been painted. The other thing that um, our shop inherited this week were a whole bunch of crocheted doilies. And these are kind of neat because, because of the fiber in them, you can put them right onto Velcro without even having a piece of Velcro on them and they will stick. Now, obviously this would be inside somewhere. I wouldn't put this outside because 
with rain and blowing air and whatever they might fall off. But while they're inside, they'd be fine. The other thing is when, if you're going to use this outside, you would want to coat it with either polyurethane, um, clear nail polish, anything that would give it a coating. Mod Podge would do that as well. There is specific Mod Podge for outdoors. Um, next month when we do our cigar boxes, we will use regular Mod Podge, but there is also a special Mod Podge for outdoor use only. So that would be something you'd want to consider. Um, I think that's pretty much the basics of all the kinds of techniques. Remember that your message is your message and it's fun to keep changing it out. So do a little bit of planning before you do. Um, the Velcro with the stick on is found at Walmart and any craft store. So if you wanna do interchanging, I think I gave you three or four pieces each with, and some of the pieces are long, so you could cut them apart because truly, as you can see by this plaque, this piece is only, it's not even a whole inch wide and it holds things very well. All right, well, I think that's it for this month. Next month, we will be doing the cigar box memory box and working with those fun frames. I look forward to seeing you then and I hope this is something fun you'd wanna try. Take care.